Kezia, can you hear me? Kezia, Fania, Lindo, can you hear me? Marcy? Marcy? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you choose any topic from anatomy. <coughs> Uh, except bones, uh, except bones. Uh, major cavities, NGIT, uh, urinary system, reproductive system, nervous system, sensory organs, cardiovascular system. Which one will you choose? Ma'am, I haven't been attending class for quite long, so I don't know much. But whatever you have attended, uh, you can say. No? Yes, ma'am. Okay, which one? Ma'am, the cardiovascular. Cardiovascular. I cannot hear you properly, ma'am. Uh, you start, you start. Ma'am, I'll, I'll, I'll read. Uh, the cardiovascular system is divided for descriptive purpose into two main parts. The heart, whose pumping action ensures constant circulation of the blood. The blood vessel, which forms a lengthy network through which the blood flows. You explain. At least whatever you have understood, you explain. Uh, the heart is divided into four uh, into four chambers: the right atrium, the left atrium, the right ventricle, and the left ventricle. And the uh, the the heart has and the heart has a. Uh, these uh, main veins through which the uh, the blood flows from the lungs and through which uh, the blood flows from the lungs and carries the deoxygenated blood and makes it uh, uh, blood uh, rich in oxygen. Um, 
you say about you say about shape of the heart all those the shape of the heart is a cone shaped hollow muscular organ which is about the size of a fist of a human layers of the heart it is um about 10 centimeter long and it is the size of a uh, fist of the woman it um the weight of the heart is heavier in the men than in women and the layers of the heart uh, it has three it has three layers the outer layer the layer in between and the innermost layer the outer layer is the epicardium the middle layer is the myocardium and the innermost layer is the endocardium and the heart lies it lies bit uh, it lies between the lungs ma'am i cannot hear you properly your voice is breaking Lies in between the lungs. What is called? Lies in between the lungs. What what is it called? Thoracic cavity. What is your reach? Medius tenum. The space between uh -huh. the lungs. It is known as medius tenum. Are you clear? Yes. Um. <coughs> so now, now you say about the cardiovascular system. I mean, how your heart uh, pumps blood. Um. <clears throat> Uh, when the when uh, when the when the blood uh, comes from the uh, comes from the lungs, it first enters the right atrium. No, no, no. Mercy, it's not like that. It doesn't come to the lungs first. The blood comes from the the inferior vena cava. That is. That is. Uh, the oxygenated blood and the yes, first that it okay you see like that okay ma'am when the blood uh, when the blood comes from the lungs it first enters the superior vena cava not lung to the hello it's not lungs the it will just come not from the lungs but lungs will be afterwards okay ma'am Okay. When the deoxygenated blood enters the heart, it first enters in the superior vena cava to the right atrium, and uh, and there's a an and there's a and the stricospit valve will open, and it will enter to, uh, and it will enter to the right ventricle, and from the right ventricle there is a there's a pathway known as the pulmonary valve and it will enter to the pulmonary valve and it will go to the lungs. Uh, pulmonary artery it is divided into two parts, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Can you name them? Mm, 
No, ma'am. Right pulmonary artery and left pulmonary artery. Left. Right and left pulmonary artery. Yes, ma'am. So this right and the left pulmonary artery, they will go to the lungs. Yes, ma'am. Understand? Ma now it will become what blood? Oxygenated blood. Before it was deoxygenated. It's not it. Yes, ma'am. Ah, so as soon as it will enter into the lungs, it will become oxygenated blood. Yes, ma'am. Okay, continue. Yes, ma'am. And then the... And then the blood will, and then the blood will enter uh, into the heart from the from the left from the left artery. You wait a uh, When it will come, I need to go to the lungs. Yes. It will first enter in the pulmonary veins. Understand? The uh, the oxygenated blood will come through the pulmonary veins. And from the lungs, it will come to the pulmonary veins from both sides. Then afterwards, it will enter here in the left atrium. Understand? Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, continue. Then, uh, then it will, then it will, uh, then there's a pathway in between known as the mitral valve, and it will go to the left. Uh, to the left ventricle and from the left ventricle it will go to the aorta which is <clears throat> there's also a pathway known as the aortic valve and from the aorta uh, the the blood uh, which is already um, uh, oxygenated blood it will the blood supply will go uh, throughout our body Uh, now the oxygenated blood it will well it will supply blood to the different parts of the body and it will continue mm -hmm. constantly. Understand? It will go yes, on and on. Okay. Yes. Sir. Okay. Next. Asina. Okay, Prajal, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Prajal. You choose any one topic from anatomy of syllabus except bones. You choose any one. Ma'am, what? Art. Uh huh. Art. Heart. Yeah. Okay. Mom, I have to read this. Uh, you say. Whatever you have understood, I and mean, from the explanation, the cardiovascular cardio means heart, vascular means blood vessel system is divided for descriptive purpose into two main parts. The heart, which pumping action ensures constant circulation of the blood, the blood vessels which form a lengthy network through which the 
what did you understand from this um heart pumps blood for circulation in our body and blood vessels carry the bloods uh means what they are like a network it's not it the blood vessels mm -hmm. ah okay The heart is roughly concept hollow muscular organ about the size of a fist. Uh -huh. It's about 10 cm long and it's uh, about the size of honor's fist. It weighs about uh, 225 gram in women and is heavier in men about 310 gram okay overall what did you understand means the heart the size heart of the centimeter long okay and it's it depends upon honors fist uh, and its weight in women is 225 gram and in men, it's little bit heavier, that is 310 gram. Okay. The layers of the heart wall, epicardium, myocardium, and endocardium. Epicardium is outer protective layer, uh, myocardium is muscular middle layer endocardium is the inner layer yes ma'am thin inner layer i said thin 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 inner layer location Location of heart. The heart lies in the thoracic cavity in the media stenum, the space between the two lungs. Media stenum means? Media stenum means? Um, space, space between two lungs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chambers. The heart has four chambers. The right atrium receives blood from the vein and pumps it to the right ventricle. Uh, the, the right ventricle receives blood from the right atrium and pumps it to the lungs where it is, it is loaded with oxygen. Mm, that's what just tell me. Yes, ma'am. The four chambers of the heart. Afterward, you will explain about the circulatory system. Right atrium, uh, the four chambers of heart are right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle. Okay, now you tell me the circulation. Blood, uh, blood comes from superior vena cava and inferior vena cava um, in right atrium and blood pass through triscopic bulb to right ventricle and then it goes to it goes to uh, pulmonary valve to lungs Pulmonary valve? Mm. No, no, you missed out something. Pulmonary valve after that. After that. 
was that? Pulmonary veins. Oh, no, no, wait, ma'am. Pulmonary artery. Uh, yeah, pulmon pulmonary artery to lungs. Um, and blood enters in and it comes from pulmonary veins from lungs okay now and it will become what what it will turn into what kind of blood oxygenated blood mm. and then uh, it comes it comes to left atrium Mm. and through mitral bulb it goes to left ventricle and uh, and from air aortic valve it goes to outer and then third and then over Can you hear me, Prajwal? Yes, ma'am. Okay, after that, what happens? Uh, aorta? Aorta, it blood transmits to all body. Trans okay, it go and uh, supply oxygenated blood to all the parts of the body. Yes, ma'am. Okay, it will continue on and on. It will be constant. It will continue. No, it will mm -hmm. continue. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, next. Which person? Which person can you hear me? Tapa Yakar. Ma'am. Okay, you choose any topic except bones. Ma'am, GIT track. GIT track is a series of hollow organ joints in a long testing tube from the mouth to anus. Um, The functions of GIT tract, <coughs> uh, GIT tracts uh, are the digestion and objection the food and the extraction with product of digestion. 
its main function is the objection of the its main function is of the food of the digestion including carbohydrate protein and vitamins into the blood stream order of digestion esophagus stomach uh, first uh, mouth esophagus stomach and small intestine and large intestine and rectum Ma'am. Ma'am. Sir. A process of digestion. <clears throat> digestion is start from mouth. We're chewing and saliva breakdowns food. It is more easy processed by the by your body. A saliva gland makes saliva a digestive juice. Who's most than food? It moves more easily through the so. Uh, throw esophagus into your stomach. A saliva also has an enzyme that begins to break down starch in your food. Can you see the screen now? Can you see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mm. So, Esophagus. <clears throat> Esophagus is a tubular organ connected the mouth to the stomach. Chewing and soften food passes through the esophagus after the uh, after wing slowly slow slower swallowed. Swallowed. Uh, swallowed. You say swallowed. Uh, swallowed. Okay. Swallowed. Mm. Uh, the smooth muscle of esophagus undergoes undergo a series series of web like movement is called. Uh, mm. Get away. Paris Telesis. That first they put through the stomach. Mm. The Paris Telesis movement of esophagus is an involuntary suplex takes place in response to the act of swallowing. Okay, what does it mean? Uh, involuntary means. Huh. Uh, can't we control? Those who can't we control? Okay. 
pincher pincher are pincer pincers are bands of ring like muscle uh, that act uh, gateway to the normal uh, to the naturally opening of uh, orphic orophilic that various lo locations in the body it relates to allow food to enter the stomach okay so what does it mean pincher pincers they are like a ring it's not it you can Web. see from the picture itself no 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 that one is aristeles this one is different yes. they will are like automatically open naturally Understand yes. so that it will enter into the stomach. Stomach. I'll show you here. In the next class, we will continue. Tabayaka, right? Yes. Okay. You you uh, you just read once and like you come in the next class. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. For today, I will end up here. That's all for today's class. Thank you.